So what is going on Kingdom Hearts fans, it's your boy Mazi here and we have two new pieces of information from the Famitsu article that I'm going to actually go ahead and provide to you guys. And this information goes towards one of the videos I've already made talking about this topic and then the next is actually some pretty fucking hype shit. Especially if you've been, um, of course, talking about in the comments section, you know, whether how long the game will be and stuff, you're going to love what the next one is. So the first one says, you can experiment different actions through their transformations. And let's talk about Keyblade transformations here, obviously. Non-transformable Keyblades perform special moves. The Kingdom Key allows Sora to use techniques he used in the past. So that means that special moves could potentially be old moves that Sora has had throughout the series. One of the main things people are worried about is whether or not the combo modifiers will return. And if combo modifiers don't in fact return, then of course a lot of people may be let down as this is a numeric entry. That's something that a lot of people are worried about. Will they return? They want them to return. And it sounds like this right here is saying that other keyblades besides the kingdom key will actually allow you to use special moves these special moves i'm pretty sure are tied to potentially moves of the past or the new combo modifiers within kingdom hearts 3 and if you remember of course the way you gained abilities was through like dry forms in kingdom hearts 2 i'm pretty sure that that is what's going to be the case in kingdom hearts 3 i'm almost 100 percent sure of it as of course other non-transforming keyblades has been confirmed to allow sora to use special moves and of course Course, this is kind of alluded to be the same thing that is gained from the Kingdom Keys transformation second form. So it definitely sounds like they connect to each other in a way. So the old key, I mean, not old key place, but the abilities that he will get will potentially be how we get the combo modifiers. Instead of getting them through like leveling up and stuff like that, potentially the combo modifiers will come from, um, of course, the non transformable keyblades. And that was something that I wanted to propose in my Kingdom Hearts 3 is for noobs video which wasn't a video saying that Kingdom Hearts 3 was going to suck or it wasn't going to have any depth to it I know a lot of people took it that way but what I actually meant by that video is that yes there is stuff in there for noobs the Keyblade transformations does look like they do look like they're all flash and no substance although of course the people who actually went to the premiere event have been has been able to confirm that they are pretty fun to play around with and of course there does seem like there could be some level of depth there if they could actually have a lot of time with it so that does sound good with this as well it sounds like of course non-transforming keyblades so keyblades that don't do like the keyblades that we've seen prior besides the kingdom key will actually allow you to use special moves and that is essentially what i was saying in that video legitimately i said that at the end of the video to where i said it tells us second form tells us that non-transforming keyblades keyblades that don't change form will actually give us the ability to utilize old combos or of course new combos that they may add for kingdom hearts 3 and potentially we could see that be how we get the combo modifiers if keyblade transformations do have certain levels to them or probably based on how much you use them and stuff like that or if you reach a potential level after unlocking that keyblade transformation there could be something like that there so the next thing we have to talk about here is that it said it's difficult to give a figure for percentage completion at the time. A major concern for Kingdom Hearts 3 is its high volume being met by capacity storage. This is ex exacerbated by some cutscenes that are being made into movies for low time reduction, but consequently require more capacity than expected. So. What this sounds like it's saying, and this is how a lot of people took it, and this is how I took it as well. Kingdom Hearts 3 is big as fuck. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 3 is big as fuck. When you start talking about capacity storage, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but the capacity, of course, it means there's a size of a disc that, of course, a, a game console can read. We know this game is coming out on Xbox One X and PS4, so it is going by this game console um, standard, not uh, any kind of PC standard or nothing like that. So it is going by this game console standard. And if you remember, like, back in the... Well, Y'all are probably too young for it, but if you remember, like, back in the day, we used to have, like, games and stuff to where you had to, like, add some kind of other game to it, or there were games that had multi-disc, and people are saying potentially we could 
get a multi disc for Kingdom Hearts 3. And I'm like, bro, I remember when games used to have multi disc and we were able to like, um, you had to like load the game and then you could like get to a certain point in the on the first disc and then it'll pretty much tell you now go ahead and insert the second disc and you could like open the game, take out the game, and then of course insert the second disc and you were able to like continue going from there. It was some cool ass shit back with the PlayStation One. The PlayStation One, I remember my uncle had a game that could do it. He had a couple of games that could do it actually. In fact, Resident Evil Two had that kind of ability and stuff. So if you know about Resident Evil Two on the PlayStation um, One, of course, obviously you know exactly what I'm talking about. But this right here, I think it it did. Yeah, it did. Cause it, it, there's like even now, I think if you don't have if you play it on the PlayStation Three, I think it'll ask you for the second disc or something like that. Um, but you know that's pretty much potentially what could happen here. The PlayStation 4 and Xbox One have a certain level of information that could be on a certain disc. And it's kind of, I think computers have this same flaw too as well. So where there can only be a certain level, uh, I mean a certain amount of content that can be on one disc that it will be able to read and perform. And what he's saying here is that the game is so big, they have to change some of the actual cutscenes into like those cutscenes that we, well not cutscenes, but into those same type of, of course, cinematics that we saw that or that we see in secret movies in prior Kingdom Hearts games. That's how big this fucking game is. So the people who come to my videos and say, yo, I hope this game is long, it sounds like this game is going to be pretty fucking big. So let me know what you guys think about this information. Man, a two-disc Kingdom Hearts 3, oh my god. Kingdom Hearts 3 having two discs would be fucking phenomenal. I remember having like a two disc situation, man. It, it's gonna feel very old school to some some young people. Like to some young, man, if to some young people it's gonna feel very old school. But for me it's gonna be like, bro, I remember having to do this shit when I used to play games, man. Holy fuck. But uh, let me know what you guys think about it. This has been your boy, Amazia. Don't forget to do a little A-Class gaming. Everything you do, don't forget to keep it A-Class. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at AmaziaYT. Links in the description and pinned comment. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace the heck out. Sanctuary, my sanctuary, I'll be